Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. What we're going to do today is uh, test out this new emergency lane departure avoidance and the lane departure avoidance. Now, as you can see, I'm um, at cruise control, um, traffic work, cru cruise control at 95. It's a 90 zone, so just a little bit more, but I'm not in autopilot. i am got my hand right near the wheel here. I'm just going to let go. There's no cars behind me that one car way in front of me and I'm just gonna let it ping pong in between these uh, lines and see what happens now that one just said corrective steering applied for your safety thought I was gonna go off the road and I'm like I said my hands right here just in case I need to take over now this is what I want to see now that it's flashing blue and it's the audible tone I want to see it says take control immediately I want to see what it does if it like uh, when the nag on autopilot expires I want to see what happens if it's just going to pull over to the side. Not really pull over to the side, but you know what I mean. Like uh, put the hazards on and slow down. Or if it's just going to keep going. It's just doing it again. Take control immediately. The blue flashing nags coming up. Now I'm going to the other side. Ping ponging there. Ping ponging again. It's just going crazy here. Now it's flashing. Oh, now, see that? Okay, so it does the same thing. Nobody's behind me. So it's slowing down, the hazards are on. We're now at 67. Look at that, but it's actually not slowing down completely. It's not stopping like in autopilot. It's just very annoying. It's still ping pong, it's still lane departure avoidance is still working, still keeping me within the lane on the shoulder here. But it's maintaining a speed, even though it's the speed limit is 90 kilometers in this area, it's maintaining a speed of 67 and the hazards are on. I'm still saying take control immediately, vehicle departing lane on the bottom orange line there. My hand's still right near the wheel just to take control at any time. I want to see what it does. The hazards are on. I want to know if this stays on forever or if it eventually turns off. It is very annoying. Uh, I'm wondering if this also means it's going to kick me out. No, nope, now it says corrective steering applied. Uh, notice the autopilot symbol keeps flashing here for me to go into autopilot. I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but we're two and a half minutes in. I'm going to have to stop it soon because there's a car coming up behind me. Okay, I, I pressed the accelerator. As soon as I pressed the accelerator, we went back up to speed. The blue lights went off. Uh, the audible tone went off. And um, we're back again. Now I'm just going to put it in autopilot. And uh, now we're safe. Now my hand's still near the wheel, but... It's safer. I shouldn't say we're safe. We're safer. Not to say we weren't safe before, but I was just a little experiment on lane departure avoidance and emergency lane departure avoidance. New in the uh, Tesla Model 3 and I guess the S and the X too. I can't say for the S or X. This is only a Model 3. But I'm assuming it works the same on those cars. I'm not even sure if it's out on those cars. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. If you got any questions or comments or if you've actually let it go further and if it actually does something after like a full minute or two and it does something that i didn't catch let me know in the comments below and uh we'll see you on the next one talk to you later bye bye